Well, hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I am back here in our beautiful woodshed that Joe and I put up a couple weeks ago. We have still yet to stack it with our firewood. Uh, got busy with the 4th of July weekend and all, all of that with the boat and the barbecuing and just the fireworks and all the fun that we have with the kids. But now we have got to get this wood stacked under here so that it can get dried out. We are supposed to have a couple days of sunshine which would be really nice considering we haven't had much sunshine yet this summer. Uh, so that's, you know, kind of typical for Alaska, but in our region of Alaska, it doesn't typically rain as much as it has been. And because of all that rain, the mosquitoes are even worse than usual. And Alaska mosquitoes are pretty bad as it is. So we still have some wood that needs to get split. So we're gonna finish that today. And the boys are gonna help us. They are such troops when it comes to doing stuff like this. We're gonna get all that wood, hopefully stacked under this woodshed. That way it can start drying out. So we have a really sweet friend that actually lives close enough that we can drive in the Polaris and uh, see her and visit her. She has a big flock of chickens. And as you guys know, our flock is still young. We just got them this spring, so they will not start laying until probably the fall season. And our sweet friend has a ton of extra eggs that she has been sharing with us for probably I don't even know, maybe three or four months we've been buying eggs from her. Homegrown, free range eggs, can't get any better than that. So we're always so grateful when she calls and says, hey, I've got an overabundance of eggs and we go pick up a whole bunch of them because we eat a lot of eggs. Like, especially being on keto, that is a huge part of our everyday diet is eggs. Yeah, so is it? Okay, I need another one just like this. It's right here. Parker, what are you guys working on? We're gonna try to make a little stand and some stools. Make a what? A little stand and some stools. A stand and stools? Yeah. For what? Um, we're gonna try to just make a, to. We're gonna try to make like a lemonade stand and everything. Our roof and our counter and the um. I understand. Oh. Yeah. So you're kind of making a shed, basically? Uh, kind of. So, we're going to be in the shed, though. There you go, P. Yeah! Oh, okay. Rock on it. Rock on it. Make a little stool, all right. Yes, yeah, so well, just rock. Do you guys want to see something disgusting? <laughs> I 
a small amount of mosquitoes compared to what we are dealing with out here. We did buy a mosquito magnet, which that's what those came from, and it helps. Everything helps. A mosquito magnet, my little thermocell that I keep on me, the Skin So Soft, some essential oils, all that good stuff, but it still is not 100%. And it's just, it's horrible. I mean, when you go in the front door, you have to like rush in and shut the door right behind you or they follow you in the house. Like when you pull in to park the car when you get home, you can see them like on the window trying to get at you. Sometimes it's so warm in the evenings. And obviously we don't have air conditioning, so we sleep with like the window open. And in the morning when you wake up, there's just mosquitoes covering the outside of the window screen. What are you doing? Changing the carburetor on this thing. What is that? Uh, the last bench. Mm. These are the only pieces that I had that I didn't need to cut. Okay. Nice job, buddy. Mm -hmm. It is just the most precious thing seeing the boys out there trying to build something. It sounds like they're trying to make uh, kind of like a lemonade stand with like the top on it and a little table and some benches, but just seeing them with the saw and the drill and just knowing how to use those things just from watching Joe, that is so special to me. That is a good thing. Like these kids need fathers, right? Because fathers teach them those things. I surely wouldn't be teaching them how to use a saw or anything like that. I know there's a lot of women out there that do, but I just take more of the role of, you know, doing laundry, the dishes, cooking, homeschooling, all those things, and I'm a helper to Joe with all the projects, but for the most part, Joe is the tool guy. Joe the tool man. Before we jump into this hard day's work, it's about time for lunch, so I'm keeping it simple today. The boys are getting organic tuna, mac and cheese, and Joe and I are just gonna have some fried chicken with these pork rind crumbs and this carnivore crisp chicken breast flour that I got on Amazon. Love some fried chicken. I just fry it up in some olive oil, and it's just enough to fill us up and give us the energy that we're going to need.
How's it going over here, handsome? Fine. Fine. So we are putting some fencing around the inside of this woodshed. One of you subscribers gave us that tip. Thank you so much. And that way it'll help keep the logs from rolling outside of the woodshed. We are gonna be putting up some more of the, the planks on the siding, uh, but we just haven't got to it yet. So for now, we're gonna put up the fencing to keep the logs in once we get them stacked. Here's the sheep. Their wool's growing back fast. Hey, Samson. Hey. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. Naomi, you're just so nice. Esther. Come here. Come here. Hi, Mama. How you doing, pretty girl? Huh? Oh, you're so pretty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That's my pretty girl. You gonna be my milker, huh? You gonna be my milker next spring? Yes, you are. You just don't know it yet, but you are. Girl, I'm gonna get them teats. Yes, I am. What you doing, girl? Hopefully, um, she has babies. Mr. You're so pretty. Look at that wool. Your wool's growing back so fast. Getting ready for winter time, huh? Does that feel good? Did that feel good? Yes? Yeah, you just get done eating. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh, she's so soft. Those little legs. <laughs> They're like too small for her body. Yeah. She's my favorite, I think. Mm -hmm. She's just so docile and sweet. She'll be a good milker, Parker. Maybe you could be, she could, maybe she could be your milker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she has some babies. Yeah, maybe. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, you standing there with daddy? So handsome. <laughs> The sheep are out of minerals, so I'm gonna fill that up really quick for them. So our flock of sheep is doing really, really good. Uh, they all have their own little personalities. Samson, our ram, has turned out to just be a really good guy. Now, during rutting season, mating season, we'll see how he does, but we've had cows before, and if I can handle a bull, I'm pretty sure I can handle a ram. Uh, but so far, he's been super sweet. We've had zero issues with aggression, and Esther is the mama of Abel, and she's kind of like the queen. Uh, she's little Miss Thing. She lets us know every morning when it's time to eat. She wakes us up buying, and uh, Naomi, she's just my favorite because she's just gentle and has such a sweet little spirit about her and every time you go in that pasture Naomi is the first one to approach you and be like hey good morning how are you so anyway let me get them some minerals take them back out there all right I have you guys sitting on a little grain bucket that's why you might be a little crooked or I might be a little crooked actually so we feed our sheep orchard hay that's what they get put in their feeder every day. Um, we feed about a leaf to a leaf and a half per sheep. Um, and then we also supplement with like a really good uh, supplemental feed that just has like proteins and vitamins and nutrients and stuff that they don't get from the hay. And then one of the big things is for our flock of sheep is we always make sure they have a full bucket of minerals, loose minerals, at their disposal whenever they want it. And we just put this inside their shelter so that it doesn't get wet with the rain. And as you can see, they've eaten it all. So it's kind of like our bodies when we are craving salt, that's because our body needs salt, right? So the same thing for them. They don't eat it unless they they know that they need it. Oh, and the other thing that we give them is alfalfa pellets. And especially for Esther, because she's still nursing Abel, it's really important for her to get the proteins because she's feeding too. It's just a loose mineral. 
all kinds of good stuff in there for them. No copper. Um, sheep need copper to live, but they need a very small amount and they're very susceptible to a lot of issues and sometimes dying if they get too much copper it can be toxic for them so when dealing with the sheep we have to make sure that the minerals and things that we get do not have copper added bring some in I can make you some tea tonight okay 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 just put it over here in the corner that way it keeps it out of the rain huh to have it? Yes, they all need it. Even Samson, huh, big guy. Yeah. It's in the shelter. Go get it. Yeah, go get it. Oh, it's spider webs or oh, it's that uh, old sheep hair, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's what's on there. On the sheep. So these lime green tips on here are spruce tips. And they're basically the new growth on the spruce trees. They come every summer, early summer. They can be used for a lot of things. You can do syrups and jams and teas, which is what me and the boys are gonna do tonight. They asked if we could try some spruce tip tea, which we have never had, but we're gonna give it a try. And I did try a little piece of this and it, it almost tastes just like, kind of like a lemon. What are you doing, Samson? Able. <laughs> oh, look at him going. Go ahead, go get your minerals. I'll leave you alone. Anyway, they taste like lemons, um, kind of piney, obviously, and they've got like vitamin C and some good vitamins in there. Just something really cool that grows here on the land. Thought it would be fun for the boys to check it out and see what it tastes like. Good job, babe. I wish all of these was just small. I got a whole bunch. What are you doing, Naomi? Mm -hmm. Checking out what Parker's got in his bag. <laughs> Parker, she likes you. Aw. So we still don't know if Naomi's pregnant. Time will tell uh, here shortly. And I'm just kind of watching her utter because really for me, that's the only way I'm not a vet. So that's the only way that I can tell. Usually before they lamb or before a cow calves, they will what is called bag up where their udder fills with milk. So we're just kind of keeping an eye on her. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. You might think she looks really fat and she's pregnant, but they look like that after they've eaten a big meal. So it's kind of hard to tell. So we'll just keep an eye on her. But either way, even if she's not pregnant, they will be by this fall. Uh, Naomi and Esther will be pregnant by Samson. And then this coming spring, we will have new lambs here on the homestead. And I cannot wait uh, to build a cute little milking stanchion with Joe and get these girls up there and have some fresh milk for the boys and the family and some really delicious sweet cream from a coffee. Sleepy head. Rusty. Why are you so tired? You were up all night playing? Huh? <laughs> oh, my handsome kitty. <laughs> what are you doing? You taking a little nap? Yes? Oh, where's your brother? Hmm? Is he outside getting into trouble? There's little Asher. Hi, kitty. You out exploring?
turkey, buddy. I thought you said it was an eagle. No, it's a turkey. Now it's a turkey? I actually think it looks more like an eagle. What say you? Joe said he carved me a turkey. <laughs> this is a big old tree stump we had to take out of the woodshed. But now he's saying it looks more like a turkey. I don't know, maybe the head does. It actually looks like an eagle to me, Joe, with his wings spread. <laughs> he said, you said ish, Dad. Right here? Mm -hmm. Make it go over to that line. Okay. Got it? Yep, Joe's at it again with the ball peen. Okay, so just kidding. Today is woodshed reinforcement and fencing day, apparently. You know, the time just gets away from you, doesn't it? Well, part of the problem is it doesn't get dark here right now. So it'll be like 10 o'clock at night and we're like, oh, what's for dinner? And we're like, oh my gosh, it's 10 o'clock. It, the time really does get away from you here because it just doesn't get dark. <laughs> so we're staying up later than we normally do, which naturally makes us sleep in a little bit later than we normally would. So uh, yeah, we uh, are always playing catch up it seems. So anyway. This is stuff that needed to get done anyway. Joe's reinforcing the roofing rafters, and like I said earlier, we're putting up the fencing, and then we had to put something down on the bottom of the woodshed. We were gonna do pallets, but uh, we weren't able to get any yet, so I think what we're gonna do is get some birch logs and just line the floor with like some of the smaller birch logs and then stack the wood on top of that. All right, well, we changed our mind about what we're gonna put on the bottom. We don't wanna do wood, the birch. Um, even though, you know, ideally we're going to be using this wood, it's going to be a constant turnover of wood in the winter time, but, uh, Joe wants to put rocks down on our property. We have a ton of rocks, so we're going to go with the boys and go on our rock hunt and we're going to fill up a few wheelbarrows of rocks and put down a nice layer of rocks in here. That way when it rains and we have water coming down the hill, this is on a little bit of a hill, it'll just drain right through and it shouldn't get the wood wet.
How's your hot cocoa? I have a, I'm not even really drinking it. Oh, it's too hot? <laughs> I'm already drinking mine. It's so good. good. You boys deserve it. The red packets are the sweeter ones. I think those ones are sweeter. Mm -hmm. The red ones. Yeah. What are you putting inside here, Missy? Just milk and hot cocoa. Can't be serious, Bradley. This? Huh? <laughs> Doesn't matter what size piece of wood it is. Sit. Good boy. I know you're awake, Joe. Well, we're back at it again today. We didn't get the wood stacked yesterday. After we got everything done with the fencing and the little braces and the stuff, we just didn't get to it. So. I'm feeling it. Can I be honest? Like, neither one of us were feeling it. It's kind of gloomy and just like blah. Do you ever get like that? Like, you know, you have a list of things you need to get done, but you just don't feel like it. That's kind of how we are today, huh, Joe? And yesterday. And yesterday, to be honest. Like, we made ourselves come outside and do that yesterday. <laughs> Joe made me get out of the house. I'm cool with just having movie night on days like this, you know? Like, I don't need to be out here. But Joe said, no, we need to get it done because we're supposed to be having some rain soon. Surprise, surprise. And I know he's right, so here we are. We can get it done. Mm -hmm. I think I could just watch you. Fine with that. She looks really cute when you work, Joe. Huh? Eh, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't leave you to do it all by yourself, big boy. Home slam. I'd do it by myself. I know, but I got your back. Always got your back, Joe. All right, enough talking, Joe. Enough chit chat. Let's do this. So this is the pile. It's about as tall as me. It has to get put in the woodshed today. And we still need to split the rest of these logs too and get them stacked up. Huh? I think I should just throw these. I mean, you could throw them like that. Or we could just load up a wheelbarrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna do wheelbarrows. If you wanna throw, then by all means, Joe. You know, bring out that Scottish heritage. Isn't that what they do in like the tournaments? Some of them are kinda heavy. See how far you can throw yeah. it? Yeah, Hey, can you do that? That red beard, give me some Scottish. Moron. Come on, eh? So. Just grunt one time, Joe, and you throw it, you be like, Ay! go, go. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You, whoa, your Scottish brothers are going to be leaving some comments in the comment section. Ooh. Okay, well that's going to take 10 years. 
I'm gonna get a wheelbarrow, Joe, okay? We'll see who, who who's more efficient here. Bradley, no, you're not supposed to bring him back. What are you doing? No! We're trying to take him to the woodshed, B. Oh, you decided to go with the wheelbarrow idea. I huh? said that before you even huh? said anything. All right, that's the last of it, for now anyway. Y'all know we still have a ton of trees that we took down last summer, but this is a really good start. We wanted to get this put away, and the boys are such a big help. I can't even tell you. Like, they just get in there, get their hands dirty. They don't even care, and really, they're so small, right? But they're so strong. They amaze me every day. So we're gonna put up this last stack here that we just finished splitting, and I think that's gonna be good for the night. These are the days that I am so grateful that we decided to do a crock pot dinner. You know, when you're out working on the property all day and your dog tired. <laughs> Today, we did a pot roast and it was much needed. We were starving and exhausted. Thank goodness for crock pots.
and we can, why am I rambling? Why, what? Why are you saying all that? It's just not necessary. You're not supposed to look at the camera. Well. What are you doing? You're not supposed to film that. Oh, <laughs> what happened to your nail, Joe? It was a used one. <laughs> Are you recycling nails now? I was trying to use it, but I guess I'm not going to be able to. Do <laughs> you blow a booger on me? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's finish that right. <laughs> I'll get you some. See? It's good for your... Oh, yeah. Nails. Good for what? Your twisted ankle. Yeah, get that rock, do the rock dance, do the rock dance, do the rock dance, yeah, yeah, do the rock dance, do the rock dance, break it down one time, ready, go cake, go cake, go cake, uh-oh, come on Pete, come on Pete, come on Pete, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, okay.